I started Song Exploder really as just a hobby, kind of also maybe with the hopes that it could be a day job for me. As a working touring musician, you know, it's a it's a tough life and you don't always know what your income is going to be like from month to month. And I used to do all kinds of freelance jobs. And I had this idea for a show that could talk about what is really happening with music that, that could let people into the insides of a song. And, and I had this daydream that maybe, maybe it could be a little bit of a, you know, like some kind of freelance job that I created for myself, but it would kind of fill in the gaps in between tours and records and things like that. I definitely had no idea that it would end up being a 10 year project that took up a huge amount of my life. It really changed my life. One of the things that I had hoped for for the 10th anniversary of the podcast was the chance to do things that I've never done before, to do things that kind of expanded the scope of what the podcast could be. Sort of now that I have 10 years of experience of doing what I normally do, what could I take from that format and those kinds of conversations and uh, find new applications for? And so something like this, doing the Rite of Spring uh, with, uh, with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra is a really incredible and kind of perfect opportunity for me in terms of my own, my own taste and my own growth because it is something completely new for me. Um, one of the things that I love about doing the podcast is the way that it is kind of a continuing education for me in terms of my own understanding of music, how music gets made, what musical history there is, what other artists are like in terms of the way they they think about music and the way they create. To do a show that's based on an interview format, though, you know, you're kind of limited by people who are alive. And so there's really never been a chance to talk about uh, a work from the early 20th century like this. But um, Stravinsky's Rite of Spring is so influential and so relevant still. Um, it's really exciting to be able to talk about it with the TSO and with with Gustavo, who's so knowledgeable and uh, obviously is such an insightful expert when it comes to Stravinsky and, and classical music in general. I've loved coming to Toronto to play shows. I've been touring there for over 20 years, um, off and on as I've played um, music of my own. But it's also the place that I first tried stretching Song Exploder. Um, I did an event at the Hot Docs Festival and got to uh, take the Song Exploder format and interview one of my favorite podcast uh, creators about how they make their show. It was kind of the first time I stretched this idea of Song Exploder being an investigation into the creative process and uh, and apply it to something other than what it normally is um, in the podcast. So I'm so excited to come back and do that again and and to do it in in this kind of setting is pretty amazing.